The construction of the new classrooms will see the elimination of the tedious double shift system at the school. Ours primary school has 1,357 learners and has been in existence for over 53 years now. The chairperson of Deb Marine Namdeb Foundation, Brent Asep, says the foundation focuses on areas such as education, youth development, women and girl child employment, and rarity biodiversity, just to mention a few. He says the company is determined to ensure a bright future for the leaders of tomorrow. I was thinking about what the future might look like um, for, for a child that is five or six years old today. If one thinks about it, in 2040, that child will be 20, 23 years old. And the efforts that we are making today will really be geared towards ensuring that we give that child the, the tools and the capabilities to be able to become a, a contributing uh, a, a member of this community. The Minister of Education, Arts and Culture, Faustina Calais, says the construction will eradicate the double shift classes for the grade three learners. She says both private and public sectors need to come on board to change the education sector. I was informed that grade three learners of our primary school had to attend the double shift system and our experience has taught us that learners attending the afternoon shift were not performing the way we wanted to do. Compare them with their colleagues who were attending school in the morning. In light of this, the construction of additional classroom to such school, because we recognize that the government cannot do this alone. The principal of Awas Primary School, Yochbet Kaita, commended the foundation for lending the school a hand in molding the future leaders in a conducive environment. With so much gratitude and appreciation to the Deb Marine Nam Deb Foundation, through the Ministry of Education and Arts and Culture, who blessed Awas Primary School with the opportunity to be able to give more children access to quality education in an in a comfortable environment.